First, you need to understand how shoppers shop. So let's take a look at Amazon mobile versus desktop traffic. Over at ppcentourage.com, they note that recent statistics indicate that 80% of all online shoppers start browsing for the products they need or desire on mobile first. Furthermore, 67% of those online shoppers finish purchasing these products on desktop. This means that sellers need to adapt their marketing strategies to take into consideration this growing trend in shoppers' behaviors. If sellers don't stand out on mobile, the odds of them capturing a sale on desktop are slender. So before we can understand how to stand out on mobile, let's go and take a look at the desktop. Over at Amazon, we type in women's prayer journal. Here we see the results. We see two bestsellers that we're going to take a look at. Probably the best-selling book in this niche, Prayer Journal for Women. But this is an independent publisher or this is a publisher that is not an independent publisher like this one, meaning it's not a KDP publisher. So when we take a look at the Prayer Journal for Women, 52-week scripture devotional and guided prayer journal, you see they have a decent description and then you scroll down and then you scroll down and you go to the product details and there's lots of other information here. But because it's not published by KDP, they can add these additional six images to really highlight their book. The great thing is now that Amazon has added what is called A+. When you take a look at this independently published book, Prayer Journal for Women, 52-Week Scripture Guided Prayer Notebook for Women of God, as you scroll down, you'll notice this section from the publisher. And this is where you are able to create these images and these images are called A+, and I'm going to cover that here later in the video. I just want to make sure that you understand exactly where we're at and what we're looking at here. And you can actually see inside of the book, you're going to notice that you do not see this on mobile. So here we are on the mobile version of Amazon or the Amazon shopping app. Search for Women's Prayer Journal. Here you see the results are very similar, except for the first three results show up on the page. If we scroll down to the next results, we'll see the bestsellers that we just looked at. And of course, if we click on the bestseller that is an independently published or KDP book, you can see here the difference. Of course, there is no look inside and you only see the front and the back cover as you see here. But now when you scroll down, you're going to see the importance of from the publisher. Here you can see the images. It shows the cover. It also shows the interior. It has this additional photo here that has a nice quote. Then it also has what is considered a mock-up where it shows the book sort of in a real life setting or an image that depicts what the book is going to look like when it's printed and sent to you. Also, here's some additional A plus content. Strengthen your faith with a quote or with a benefit with an image here of the hand and the heart, as well as the book again in what's called a mock-up of the interior with someone actually holding it in their hands. Again, this represents what the book's going to look like when you actually order it and you receive it. Then, of course, a good description that stands out bolded as well as the bullet points here with the benefits is also part of this to actually boost your sales when you're talking about the mobile app as opposed to the things they can see when they're actually on their desktop. So where do we add these images, this A plus content? Well, inside of your KDP or Kindle Direct Publishing Bookshelf, you simply go under the marketing tab. Here you'll find marketing resources and you simply scroll down to A plus content. And here you can find some resources that you need to go through to include getting started with A plus content, A plus content guidelines, and A plus content examples. Let's take a look at the examples. Of course, again, these are the author details on the page, or these can include the author details. Again, we're focused here on from the publisher. Here you can see an image and then they're focused on the author. This works great for publishers or traditional publishers of books, of course, like novels and other types of series of books. But of course, the books that we are creating, again, we need to focus in on things that you see like this that describe the product or give an idea of what the product is going to be like. But you can see the different layouts and the different modules that are available. Of course, you should come to this site, spend some time here, understand the types of images, JPEG or PNG, the maximum image file sizes and everything that's included and the different formats. So you can start picking your on A plus content, but a good image here is cover art, which is a standard image and a text overlay. This would be a great example of how you could display your book because there is no look inside feature on the mobile 
app when people are shopping. Again, that's in your KDP bookshelf under the marketing tab, under the marketing resources, scroll down for A plus content. Then you simply choose the marketplace that you want to add your A plus content. For example, amazon.com, select manage A plus content. Here you'll simply come in and select start creating A plus content. You'll scroll down, then you'll have a place where you can add a module. You simply click add a module. Then you can see here the standard company logo, which is the easiest way to get started. And in my opinion, probably the easiest place to start just to try to get some of this content for your books approved. But you can see here that the layouts, they show great examples and you can follow along and you can come in here and you should come in here and explore this. But let's start with the 600 by 180. You simply select that. Then you can see here that you select an image to add and you simply upload it from your computer and add the image. Where can you create these images? Of course, you can do that over at Canva. Here you can see a 600 pixel by 180 pixel image that we're going to be importing into that A plus content when we start creating it and we start laying out our journals. Here you can see two examples. In this first example, everything created here was created inside of Canva. It is simply a background under elements. You can see here I searched for something simple called a table background and I was able to find this nice wood panel and I simply added it to the background. The other one is just my cover image and then the next one here this is actually a feature called frames. You can select frames and you can see all. Then you can scroll down and then you can see there's different types of frames here to include books. So you create a book cover here. You could also select this one to create the interior of the book that I created. And you can see that that's simply just drag and drop. Again, at that point, you're uploading the images. In this case, this would be the image of my interior and you simply drag that in and it drops into place. And then you can move that around to create an interior book shot that you could create inside of Canva. The second one, these images, of course, the backdrop is the same. And of course, it's the same template, 600 pixels by 180 pixels. But these images that you see here were actually created in a different software. That software is called eCover Authority. And as you can see here, it is actually a mock-up software. I'll close this and show you how this works. Inside of eCover Authority, and there is a link in the description to check this out, you can create full mock-ups. And inside of here, you can see I've marked these as my favorite, the paperback six by nine thin stacked, as well as the open book. But there are other mockups in here that are available for you to play with. Also square books, if you're going to publish square books, and then some more paperback books in different formats or different mockup shots. So you have all those different types of mockups that you can create. Also, you have hardcover books. And of course, this is a full mockup software. It actually comes with box shots mobile devices, different types of screens, televisions, laptops, mobile devices, notebooks and spiral bound books, as well as video players, also some bottles here, mugs, etc., bags. But the idea here is if you really want to get into the world of creating mockups, this is the type of software that you would use. And back inside of Canva, you can see I simply created those over an eCover authority and then added those to my first A plus content. Then you simply just come to share, download, in this case, we're going to download page two, done, download. Then we'll go back to our KDP bookshelf. Of course, we're under the A plus content manager. Here, we're going to select the image that we just created inside of eCover Authority and Canva. And as you can see now, we can add that after we add some image keywords and then make this something that describes what's going on in your image. Add that image. And then once you have added that image, you will apply the ASINs. Here, you will name your content. We'll just call this test. Here you would find your ASIN. Once you find your book, then you would simply apply that content. Then you can see that the ASIN status is not published. Then you would simply select next review and submit or save as a draft. In this case, we're gonna save as a draft. Then of course, under your content, you can select that. And then once you have submitted it, what you can do is you can link to a preview. This is what it would look like on desktop. And of course, this is what it would look like on mobile. Of course, the idea here is to boost your Amazon book sales. And you do that by understanding that people shop from different devices, mobile and desktop, and understand how to boost your sales by creating this A-plus content specifically for mobile, but also it applies to desktop. But under desktop, you know they already have all those features. So don't ignore the fact that people look or shop on mobile and create the best experience so they can understand exactly what your book's about and increase your chances of them adding it to their shopping cart, checking out, and you earning that royalty from 
the book that you've created. If this video was helpful, give me a thumbs up. Type right here in the middle of the screen. Click that typewriter, subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment if you have any questions and I'll talk to you later. Bye.